Hey everyone, welcome back for another Exo Zeros episode. In today's episode, we're going to discuss how to clear Chapter 17, Episode 14, how to beat John Donk. But before that, if you want updated Exo Zeros content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, we're now here at Chapter 17, Episode 14. So we're going to try to check out John Donk's passive and skills for this stage as a boss so he has thrust three for his passive but more importantly he has a lot of status effects immunity um he has actually more or less other passives as well so aside from status from immune to status effects so he has buffs so increase own block by 1000 at the start of of the turn if if there are living allies so um, the key is actually this is going to be you know this is going to be a bit confusing because the key in defeating him is actually taking a lot uh, taking all of his allies out or killing them but again for his s1 he actually brings them back to life so I'll, I'll i'll be explaining a bit of his strategy later during gameplay so again for his buff he increases own block by by 1000 um if all if uh, there are living allies uh, even if there is one so special reduces normal damage received by 65 percent so damage reduction pretty much a headache increase attack at the start of the round by 20 percent again bit of a headache more on i'm more worried about um how to kill him than you know than my heroes dying um in this in this uh what they call this in this in this episode so more or less um how to kill him with less hits for us to get a three star so right now, right now guys i already did this and i was able to finish this with two star but more or less the objective here is to get to three star so again he also has tenacity which um, reduces the duration of his of his um break status for for his s1 he has um what do you call this um declaration of victory so increase own defense by 30 percent also another headache so aside from damage reduction he increases his, def his defense which is really 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 a headache um grants damage immunity for cell for two turns again another one so really big on defense for this guy and revives all dead allies and for his s2 you have their king's army deals 255 damage to all enemies and there you go so that is it for john donk so more or less for him if you check out um the guardian stones for for what do you call this for this boss or this episode so you have five so more or less you'll be requiring five with with a different uh guard five heroes that designates a specific element so for light more or less um the recommended here would be garf or schmidt preferably schmidt because of his turn reset because the more turn resets you know you do the the more you can you know you, you could attack your enemies and you know give them less of a turn to attack you so schmidt here is actually very beneficial for nature you have rudley tantalo Jani, rera and talia so all our fcs i'm 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 talking about fcs here guys um so don't be confused so more or less the best here for me would be tantalo rera and rudley okay for dark you have uh choices would be adams ramji shufraken again all fcs um choice would be either ramji or adams for this one so machine your choice would be dorka fc shell or fc loom so again your choice here would be fc you know fc shell or dorka and for frost you actually the choice here would be primarily would be battery if you don't have battery reed murray would be good because of his damage over time also burnet would would be good because of his aoe but more or less you won't really, really need much more much aoe for frost for battery or reed murray would would be okay okay so again for my team that i'm using for this one so i'm going with rudley battery schmidt dorka and and uh, fc ramji on the front okay so um i'm actually good with this team ready this gives me a lot of hp survivability 
uh, turn reset for for FC Schmid. Damage is actually questionable, but I'll try to three star with this team. Okay, so the first time that I encountered this, I was able to to two star this on auto. I'll try to do this now on manual. Um, try to make sure to control to control the enemies on the other side in terms of the turns, if possible. So uh, here we go with Rudley. So Rudley here is basically your top HP and defense enhancer. Also good with burst damage as well to make sure that um, um, he deals a lot of damage in terms of in terms of the enemies. And he has silence as well for you know it, it's usually for for the allies um, or for, for, for the enemy allies in front of you. So we'll go with Schmidt. It's a pity that for Schmidt I haven't, you know. I haven't elementally enhanced him up to three, uh, breaking three Guardian Stones. So I'll have to be contented with two for now. But more or less, I like Schmidt here because again, with the with the with the turn reset. So more or less, um, if his defense is actually in, uh, higher than than your other allies. Then he can give master's footsteps and prey eventually. So basically, for Ramji, he is good here. He did a turn reset, so he's going to do another S2 again for damage, making sure that they cannot, you know, uh, a few of them can only, you know, can only have a a counter attack. So it's actually important that you keep uh, that you keep your hits low in terms of wave one and wave two so that you'd be able to reach um reach wave three with you know less hits um wave three is actually quite a headache in terms of the enemy in terms of the boss so we're now at 10 so that's good so more or less we'll go again with uh with dorka's s1 for bind and more or less not to give them any mana for two turns and Next would be Rudley again to break green garden stones to give HP and defense to the team. So again, Rudley, my best hero so far. Been you know been happy bringing him mostly in PvP, but again he's actually good as well in your in your PVE content. So very good utility for a player and also damage. Um, very underrated it, he was very underrated before i even underrated him and schmid um hopefully for my team i could build up his signature force um i'm nearly done with his unleash potential he's actually kind of good in terms of you know um splashing him to other teams as well aside from Ninombe. so i'm trying to i'm going to try to splash him with my other teams and probably try to um uh try to uh apply master's footsteps then pray so again we're good at hit 36 for wave two so i hope uh, ramji finishes them off so the biggest challenge would be our wave three so there you go we're done with wave two off to wave three battery leading the way Okay, John Donk. Very, very tough old man. So, very tough old man. And we go ahead with Dorka for S1. Again, applying bind. So again, the key for the key for um, the allies of Donk is not to, to finish them off. Because again, he has revived. So, as much as possible, just kill off around 4 then keep one alive then break donk uh then kill both of them that's actually the strategy here because you don't want to trigger his revive he revives actually if you you finish you know you finish everyone off so that is that is actually where you should not kill every every everyone off um to minimize your hits so we're now at 56 Actually, I, I, I like Schmidt because of the AoE, you know, the AoE for all um, to break Guardian Stones. 
Garf only hits the back. So prefer preference would be Schmid for, for this one. So again, we're at 60. So we're going to at least kill one more and save the other one to so that so that he won't revive everyone so we're done to one so again so we're here breaking john donk hopefully we can we're a hit limit 61 so we're we're, we're kind of good so this is actually a pain aoe which you know it's at, we're at 64 we're still good so he's broken for have a little bit of uh you know glimmer of hope in terms of finish finishing this off with uh, with three stars so again um when i did this at two stars um pretty much um really hard especially if if you expect to three star on auto so more or less i'm doing this again on manual and i've you know i've i've changed up some of the the heroes that i used i used garf before i switched up to schmidt which actually more or less is more effective in terms of uh, in terms of what he can do so Again, once Donk is broken, you can actually kill off, kill off that uh, that minion of his, so that his um, his uh, his block will, would go down. Again, he has a plus one thousand block if there's an ally on the field. So more or less. There you go. Schmidt really, you know, gives a big damage to everyone. So, off with this S1. Hopefully, he won't revive any any one of them anymore. So, I'm at 4. So more or less, I have to bring on a lot of damage now. He doesn't have, you know, additional blocks. Stat. So more or less, again, I'm free to, you know, attack him multiple times. But I, I think I will have, I, I will not have the opportunity to, you know, to finish him off now. Um, because I have two more turns for the break and one here with battery. And one more, hopefully battery does a lot of damage. Not so much, so I have to rely on another break. Oh boy. I was actually hoping that he won't wake up. See? He's actually <laughs> he's actually reviving everyone. <laughs> so I'm at 64. Another another break would do. I still have to do another break and kill off most of them because again the the, the aim here is for three stars um three stars and more or less um trying to break john donk for this one so again for dorka breaking two machine he has damage immunity i forgot so we're going to weather this i have to kill you know everyone here Every one of his allies to prevent more damage from me. I'm at 75 already. Right, I just have to weather this 83. I don't think I can. So more or less, guys. Um, I don't think I can weather this in terms of in terms of hits. So again, this will be finished in a two star. So again, it's really hard because he has revive. Um, but I'll finish this one. I'll finish him off. Uh, but I won't be three starring him now. Uh, more or less, two stars would be enough for the moment. So again, the satisfaction here is actually clearing this again, and you know, I'm showing you guys how it's done. Um, again, Schmidt is actually crucial here moving forward. Um, also, I think Ramji has to be changed to to Adams. 
I don't have a built up um built up FC Adams. That is why I'm going with Ramsey. So again, uh, Adams would be I think would be good because he's a single target damage dealer. Um, in terms of he can deal a lot of damage more than Ramsey. Uh, what else? So that's mostly it. Um, I don't think you'll have any more changes in terms of the roster. I'm pretty much happy with what I have. Unless if you want to change um, Dorka with Deva to deal more damage, that's probably it. So again, he's he's reviving the gang before he's broken. So in terms of hits, I, I think I could take the hits. But the problem is the hit limit keeps on piling up. So more or less, I just have to you know be contented again with two starting this, this stage. So... This revive actually thing is really a pain. I, if he doesn't really have revive, more or less he can really be, you know, he can can be taken out quick. So again, I'm at hit, I'm at hit 100, exceeded my quota again for hits. So just have to slowly take him out. So for Radley again, I have two more. Two more Guardian Stones for light, so I'm sure Schmidt would, would take care of him. But again, I think I think Redley would, would be crucial for this one for, for three star. So if not for for, for Schmidt, uh, you know. Uh, I would not have reached this far in terms of hits. So again, it's a it, it will be a big improvement from from uh, from Ramsey to Adams actually if you change or switch it up. So more or less, I'm just you know clearing this one. Hopefully, I could I could finish him off uh, while he's broken, because I don't want to go through another revive of his gang. So he's at uh, break two. So nearing, hopefully, I could really finish him off. So another S two from Bathory. Little damage, little damage. So again, he survives another break um, with little life left. So again, very. <laughs> Here we go again. Another, another round of revive. So this stage is going to be so long. So it's actually you know down the wire ready for the third revive very very you know very very hard to kill again he is damage immunity at this point so we'll have to weather this out and kill off his his what they call this his posse <laughs> damage immunity weathering it off so more or less need this aoe from Rudley to finish them off So, where is it? So, he's nearing. Nearing extinction. So, more or less, I'll try to finish him off with FC Schmid. I should have brought FC Adams. Kind of regret it. I'll have to redo this one with FC Adams for the three star. So, again, pretty much hard headed guys can't really stay down he's down to about i think five percent hp or around 10 around 10 that's around 10 more so and he's really stubborn and still don't, doesn't want to die i i need one more good burst attack there we go okay so we're done with John Donk, so more or less, this is the end of his reign. So more or less, again, chapter's done, guys. So there you go. Okay, guys, for any comments, any, suggest uh, any suggestions on any lineup that you want to suggest so that I could 3 stars one, Please put them down in the comment section below. 
anyway guys um hope this helped and always take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here